Right now, SciMRI for us is kind of a very core sequence to our neuroradiology program. We utilize it in every single neuro case that we do, except maybe a couple, but um, it's very core to almost everything we do. We use it in the spine pretty much ubiquitously, in the cervical and in the lumbar spine. That's how we're using it right now. We hope to, in the future, once it's available, to be able to use it for body applications as well. So for us, it's a pretty core sequence that we're hoping to, to keep working with. For us right now, the best part of SciMRI's offering is the great throughput um, achievement that we're able to achieve with uh, with using the sequence, we're able to get all the tissue weightings at once, um, which for us was a game changer. It sped us up significantly, almost 25%. So um, in addition to that, we get the bonus of the quantitative imaging. So on the cases where usually we, we don't see too much, we're hoping that there is some avenue where we can potentially be more precise in our diagnosis. Right now, we'd love to see the 3D sequences come out. Um, we are we enjoy the 3D sequences. Um, we like the the through plane resolution for them. Um, furthermore, I think the quantitative portion is going to be very very important in the upcoming. Particularly, we have the myelin maps already, um, but I think even the T1 and T2 as well as PD maps that are able to be generated by the SciMRI sequence. I think those are going to become more important.